Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. I received a comment on one of my videos with a question on it. Thanks for your comment, Mortis 7 It says, very nice video as usual, really nice explanation, helped clear up a lot of things for me. I was wondering if you knew anything regarding the program Logon Studio. I haven't been able to find any good pictures for it because for some reason they have to be in a format of .logon XP. I was wondering if you knew any good sites for pictures with this format. Now for those of you who don't know what Logon Studio is, it basically enables you to change your Windows logon. So when you type your password into uh, your XP prompt, or I think it may work on Vista, there may be a Vista version out there somewhere, um, you go to type your password in, and usually it's in a blue theme, and then you log in, and then there's your desktop, or it's black, or uh, I think it's green on Vista. But either way, Logon Studio is freeware, so it's free to download. Um, I can provide a link in the description for it and basically when you open it you're greeted with this box here which says uh, logon studio this is version 1.0.64 it says download free logons from wincustomize.com so you click that and you notice it says this page cannot be found which is very useful so you can see we've got three welcome ones here that have already been made but they're not to be honest very good and what you can also do is make your own so if you call it a name if i call it duncan or something create uh, new directory with the logon name have have been created with the default logon into it. Okay then. So then it comes up with you, you can see this is my default logon, and then you can start messing about with things um, like I don't know. Let's change the top panel to be black and grey, and then you can see I can start transforming this as I have a black desktop. I can transform this all to be black and grey. However, this will take you quite a while. Uh, another useful thing you can do with this, I think, is do something with this bar. You can change the position of it. Uh, there you go, you can have it like down here. So you can enter your password down here and then you change all your other bits. Um, but if you don't want to go through the hassle of it, um, then you can actually import things. Uh, what well, this import is for Logon UI Extractor. Basically, there's a you can download a Logon UI.exe file, or I think it might be in your Windows directory, and it will extract it from that, and then you can start messing about with it. Um, but I, I think actually, yeah, this is included in your Windows directory. It's a file you just um, can extract your things from that and start editing it. Or if you don't want to go through this, you can just say load, and then you'll see that it tries to get you to open a file that's dot logon xp which is what ours mortis was explaining so yep there he wants to know if there are any good sites where you can download files for this well i found a couple uh, one is deviant arts now deviant art is very good when it comes to finding a um finding some decent customizable uh, things for your computer such as boot screens logons and all things like that and uh it's got its own folder here that says logon xp I'll provide the link of it into the description. I strongly recommend you um, you register here because then you don't get ads uh, pop up um, when you're browsing. Uh, I've got an account, but I haven't logged in. So, and you'll notice that um, I've, it starts with time range in 24 hours, but you can change this to all time. And then you'll notice that you get a load of things that people have made um, for Logon XP. So there's loads of pages that it looks like I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, well, I'll just go for the next one. And you'll see there's more here, lots more here. So there's, it doesn't say exactly how many there are, but um, either way, I've um, downloaded this one, seems to take t to, I seem to like this one, so I downloaded this one, v VBL007. It just looked quite nice. I thought the black and the blue one looked quite nice. So what I've done is I've downloaded it and it downloads to your desktop in a zip file but I've extracted it already and you'll notice that that says DeviantArt there, it's a logo and you'll notice I now have a VBL007B logon XP file so all I need to do is go load desktop VBL logon XP and it says unable to open so we're going to find another one <laughs> so it, it may be because of the version of it I'm not sure so let's try another one uh, charade. Just try and find one that works. <laughs> so that's, that downloads that's downloaded as a logon file. So we're now going to try and log on. Oh, I'm going to try charade. Ah, now this one is loaded in. So you can see uh, if you want to edit it and have another close, you want to have a closer look. That's what it looks like. Um, 
the purple means it's uh, sorry the pink means it's transparent so you won't see these boxes it's just transparent um, so don't try VBL 007 because it might it won't work with this logon studio but this next one does which is called charade so if it doesn't work then just try and find another one it might be because the version's out of date that I've downloaded or it just doesn't want to work with it so um, it's up to you what you want to do. Um, if there's another way you know how to customize skins for free, then please let everybody know. We'd like to hear from you. Um, as, oh, sorry, I forgot <laughs> to mention there's some other sites as well. Uh, Art to pr that site there. And there's some uh, colorful ones here that you can find that you can download. Uh, there's not too many on this one. And also, lotsofskins.com has some as well. If you can't find any on DeviantArt. It's all about your own taste, so I won't give you a um, skin that I think you should download. It's up to you. It's your customization, your PC, so don't let me convince you to do something else. So, that's about it really. Uh, that's the logon I'll probably be using from now on. I'm going to apply this in a second. Um, so, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks again.